So I'm talking about um, I, I, uh, some joint research that I've done with uh, uh, Tom Sargent, who's here, and a variety of, of uh, some other co-authors. And we've, um, this is a research agenda we've been working on for a while. And so let me just talk through some of the motivations, some of the backgrounds, and the like um, coming into this. And um, in order to get at what I want to talk about today, I'm going to have to give an incredibly impressionistic views of uh, some of uh, very rich recent literature uh, in economics and decision theory and the like. So you'll have to, if you don't understand everything, there's probably a good reason. Uh, but but please feel free to interrupt me at, the, at, at, at appropriate points in time. And I suppose this literature goes back to Knight and some ex to some extent, which he was uh, uh, drawing distinctions between risk and uncertainty and in, in, his, in his treatment of uh, entrepreneurs. Um, we're, we're also kind of motivated. You have another, uh, another literature which, which is um, often appealed to uh, is, is, is related to work by Daniel Ellsberg in which he actually put on the table experiments in which uh, you would draw from earns in which you knew probabilities and compare that to, uh, to earns in which you didn't and try to figure out people's preferences and trying to uh, uh, illustrate that uh, maybe there's important distinctions between knowing stuff, being told probabilities in advance versus having to somehow use data, have, having to grow, make guesses and the like to come up with probabilistic statements. Um, uh, if you look more recently, you know, there's lots of stories about what went on in this, in this most recent financial crisis. Plays off notions of sentiments and caution and fear and the like. Uh, to some, yeah, it, it's it's uh, the thing that leaves at least me a little bit cold about those discussions is there's little co empirical content attached to it or little discipline to it. Yes, we can always kind of make up beliefs, but. We, we really want to have a set of tools in which we can think about how to quantify, calibrate, or think more systematically about the kind of these concerns about um, not knowing models, not knowing probabilities, and, and, and the like. So, that, so this is kind of what we're about, and and and, uh, and kind of what I want to talk about today are some uh, issues that come in terms of tra of, of, of uh, trying to measure or or say calibrate some of these notions of ambiguity, concerns about robustness, or the like, which 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 we find to be very interesting, intriguing, and attractive. So, if we look at the usual way we calibrate risk aversion, um, we'll go and we'll you know go to survey evidence. You'll ask somebody questions. You'll you'll typically give the uh, the respondent probabilities and try to figure out what his gambles are. So this is all about, well, so, well, in a lot of situations, in a lot of market situations, a lot of economic situations, we suspect that it's a, it's a rather complicated environment. The whole problem of kind of, of coming up with models is, uh, to begin with is, um, is already very challenging. And that, and that this notion of trying to get in, and that, and that calibrating risk aversion by asking these highly, you know, experiments in highly stylized environments with known probabilities is very different from what you might expect to extract out of, out of market data in, 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 in uh, arguably com complex economies. So, it, so we really want to be thinking about what, what looks like highly risk averse behavior is perhaps coming from other sources. And, 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 and for us, this is that this is going to turn out to be robustness for other people would use the name ambiguity or, or, or drawing distinctions between risk and uncertainty. So just to get started, let, let me go back to the kind of standard Bayes approach. And in this Bayesian approach, there's kind of, you know, I, um, Savage, who was an eminent statistician here, had a very beautiful and elegant axiomization of uh, kind of Bayesian decision theory. And a very key component into that, into that decision theory is a the notion of reduction of compound logics. And we're going to actually get rid of this axiom, uh, as many people have suggested for a variety of reasons. And we're going to do things like draw distinctions between stuff like <coughs> risk conditioned on a model and, say, uncertainty across models. 